Hello, and welcome back. We're doing an exploration day today, solo. This is a, a new area for me. So this ought to be interesting. I was looking on satellites last night. Oh, Google. And uh, I saw some rather promising uh, places to visit today. So, this is going to be the first of, uh, whoa, first of three that I'm going to be checking out. A little trickling uh, brook. So this particular area was uh, devastated by forest fire a few years ago, so I'm sure it's not going to look awesome, but as far as I can tell, we might be able to get to an awesome place. I don't know what just happened to my GPS here. Not even recording. So set that baby up to record itself in here. Place number one that's a no-go. That is too bad. You know, just out of curiosity. Yeah, she's pretty well locked. Well, that's unfortunate. That's going to change my plans drastically. Because <clears throat> that was going to be uh, a small distance. Well, darn it. So, I suppose, that said, we can backtrack, there's a, another fork which will now be on our right, that I have been up before, I don't know if I recorded it, and uh, boy, was that, I think it was earlier this year then, and there's actually snow up there still, so perhaps we'll go check that out. I kind of figured there's going to be a gate, but I wasn't quite sure where. Granted, that was a bit early, but what are you going to do? That's the downfall of just looking at the satellites. If you don't know where the gates are now, I suppose I could have uh, 
tried to search out some local area maps and things like that, but that's okay. We got plenty of other places to go, which I know are not gated. So, like I said, for for this area, we'll come. Whoa! Damn! Pay attention here. We will compensate and go that other fork, which I know is not gated. Or at least it wasn't last time I was there. Yeah, so it'll be this fork here instead. To my knowledge, this does not have a gate. Choices, huh? I think we're going to continue this way. I, I believe this is the actual forest road. The other roads are just for uh, maintenance on the power lines.
I think last time I was up here it was also uh, pretty wet. So in the uh, Pacific Northwest here, September is the best month of the year to uh, ride. Because you have access to everything. The temperatures are are pretty uh, pretty neutral. I think today's high. Well, it might be 80 degrees today actually. But uh, it starts to ride this morning. We're talking mid 50s. Uh, yeah, it's not even 60 degrees yet. So very comfortable temperatures, especially when you're working hard on the big bike. And looking in my mirror, I see uh, very little dust. So I think we had some rain move through yesterday. So I do notice that it's it's damp. It's not wet. It isn't moist. <laughs> it's damp. But uh, yeah, access to pretty much everywhere because there's no snow yet. So, good temperatures. Great month to ride, for sure. So had we been able to uh, take the other gated road, we'd be on the opposite side of this particular mountain. So this road, it'll take us up over here, but it's not going to take us very far. And you can just see, <coughs> excuse me. You can see the damage the, the forest fire did. All these burying trees. Now, last time I was up here, we were not able to uh, make it very far because of snow, but should be able to make it all the way through today. So we'll consider this our consolation prize. Ooh, bright light. to see you. Hard to see. Can't see. I see some shade up here. There we go. There we go. Oh, well this looks interesting. Burned out car. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I guess that's as far as we're gonna go. Look at that view though, huh? Absolutely spectacular. Alright, I'm gonna take a peek, see what's on the other side here.
Well, what used to be there was a forest road is now gone. It has pretty well been taken over by nature once again.